Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome into my online classroom. This is Math with Mr. V. I want you to remember that while you watch these videos, these lesson videos, I am going to talk you through the concepts and then present a problem for you to try. So grab a piece of paper and you can pause, rewind, even fast forward anytime you'd like. So good luck. Let me know how it goes. This problem involves solving an isosceles triangle. Angle D is the vertex angle, and angle E and angle F are measured, as you can see, in algebraic terms. Find the measure of each angle. Well, the first idea, of course, is to make sure you mark up what they give you. And it looks like measure of angle E is 2x plus 40. Measure of angle F is 3x plus 22 find the measure of each angle. What do you know about those angles? Well, vertex angle implies that we have an isosceles triangle. So those base angles have to be congruent. Let's write an equation, setting them equal to each other. And now we solve for x. You go ahead and try. Did you get x equals 18? All right, now we need to plug that in there and try to figure out what the actual value of the angles are. So, 2x plus 40 is really 2 times 18 plus 40. 36 plus 40 equals 76 degrees. So, one base angle has to be 76 degrees. The other base angle has to be 76 degrees. What would the vertex angle be? That's right, all three angles add up to 180. So, we subtract 180 minus 76 minus 76, and we get... 28 degrees. The three angles are 76, 76, and 28. All right, how'd you do? Hopefully you understood the concepts. Um, remember that um, if you want a related video or a concept that's similar and or just extra practice, email me and let me know. I can record a new one for you and we can customize it. Once again, this is Terry Vanoy in my online classroom with Math with Mr. V.